y'all welcome back to my channel I have another Dollar Tree haul for you today that I'm very excited to share uh, before we get into it, just a few things one if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button if you're interested in Dollar Tree hauls or even wax types of videos because those are the two that I do the most um, I'd love to have you here and two there are a few items I forgot to include in this and I'm going to go upstairs and record those items after I finish this haul. So it will be at the end of this video if you're interested in seeing them. I think they're pretty cool items, so you know, if you're possibly interested in seeing what I have, stay tuned through the entire video. But uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So I went to one of the Dollar Trees that I frequent, but not too commonly, just because I don't like to go to the same ones over and over because I feel like they're not gonna have a lot of new stuff out. So this is one I haven't been to in a while and I was kind of surprised. I found some things I hadn't seen anywhere else. So let's go ahead and get started with the kids stuff. I don't have much, but I just want to get it out of the way. So I bought my daughter some of these um, splash, splash and Swim water ball sling shooters. She begged me for these. And she also wanted some extra balls to go with it. So this is for her and some of the neighbor, neighborhood kids in the cul-de-sac to play with on the weekends. And the only other thing I think I really got for her that she wanted was these double bubble gumballs to go for her machine. She ended up dropping the whole bag on the floor from my last video, so we had to buy another one. So that's what that is. Um, we're going on vacation soon, and I saw these travel games that I thought was pretty cool. So the first one here is Travel Bingo. So it comes with three cards and uh, one dry erase marker. Yeah. So this is kind of what it looks like. So it's got, I'm assuming each one has a little bit different things. So like things like a police car, a, a red truck, construction, people, buses. So that's kind of something fun to play. And then the second one is the license plate game. So a lot of times people play this in the car, but this one's kind of cool because you can keep track. So I like that and you can color it in or mark it off or however you want to do that. But um, that's pretty cool. We're going to be driving to Florida from San Antonio. So from here to Orlando is like almost 20 hours. It's gonna be really long. And we leave, I think, next weekend. So uh, these will definitely come in handy very soon. I think they had another one, but I wasn't really interested, but I just thought that that was really cool. Um, I would dig through the DVD bin because they've had a lot of DVDs lately. And the only one that I picked up is Hairspray. I had two other ones in my hand, but I thought I'm not gonna watch those, so. Um, this is an older movie. Let's see, what year is that from? I don't know, it's from the early 2000s, I do know that. And I've actually never seen it. But, um, I do like musicals, so I figured I would just give it a shot. Pretty cool for a rainy day movie. I found one of these food tents, and I already took it out of the package, so I'll just set it up and show you guys what it looks like. Alright. So this is the food tent. I'll pick you up and show you guys. It's pretty large. So it's got these like flaps at the bottom to keep the bugs out. And this is the design on the front. So it says watermelon, beach, smile, fruity, tropical, pool. They had a couple different colors. This was the last pink one they had in stock, so I definitely wanted to grab it. And if I see more, I'll probably probably pick up another one or maybe two. Uh, we are gonna be going to some springs when we're in Florida, so I know that these will always come in handy keep your food covered. I found some of these brown um, kitchen items. And so this one is a pot holder. It's got this little pocket here and this slip, uh, non-slip grip feels really, really nice. It says it's 100% rubber on the side. I couldn't believe this was just a dollar. I mean, it feels really nice. And then I got that to match the uh, dish drying mat. So I saw some people post um, that they had a black one and I that's what I actually wanted but this one will match my kitchen too. I have some of the colorful ones but once the summer's over you're not really going to want to use those so I don't know I just felt like this looked a little bit more elegant. So I got those two to go together. I was able to finally find the um, Himalayan pink salt um, and this is a grinder. So I've been on the lookout for that and thankfully this store actually had it. They had a couple but I just picked up one a grinder of this would last you a long time. I bought a jar of already gra um, ground Himalayan pink salt that I've been using for about a year now, and I'm just under halfway. So this is my backup. 
and I know we'll get through it, but there's definitely, you know, no need for me to pick up a couple at a time. And that's a great price for a dollar. Those can easily go for five to eight dollars at your local grocery store. I picked up two packs of the Yoohoo chocolate milk drinks. They're not really milk, so they're called chocolate drinks, but uh, those are pretty tasty. Just toss those in the fridge. And I think that was it for food type of items. I didn't pick up too much. I was able to find some lens wipes, and this can be for your glasses, your cell phone, tablet, cameras. Um, I'm going to use it for my glasses, my daughter's tablet, and my camera. So I have a nice camera that we're going to take with us to Disney World. And, um, you know, before you start taking your photos for the day, you, you kind of want to give your lens a good wipe down. So these will come in handy. And I like the convenience of these. You can just throw a couple of them in your bag. Um, the packaging's not bulky or anything. They're just in these little packets. So that's cool. Picked up some glue pens. This is for my daughter. She likes to do a lot of like cutting out things. She'll color things and cut them out and wanting to glue them together. So this is something she can kind of do on her own. So it's got a precision tip to put the glue exactly where you want it. Just something to throw in the junk drawer. Picked up uh, two packages of these dry erase markers for my husband's work. And these are thicker ones. I had the thinner ones and he requested some thicker ones. So these have the chisel tip. Hopefully those work out. I think one of my favorite finds from this trip is this digital thermometer. I know I've seen them in hauls before, but I've never found them. And if you're anything like me, when my daughter's sick, you know, I'm running around the house trying to get the medicines together and soup and cough drops and things like that. And you're always wanting to check, check their temperature if they have a fever. And the thermometer disappears. We have like three thermometers and they love to disappear. So this is going to be a backup thermometer. Um, it includes the battery. So even if it only works for a couple times, to me it was worth it for a dollar. Thermometers are not cheap. So I don't know, I just thought that was really cool. And I do plan um, on testing this against the thermometers we already have. We do have some expensive ones and just to see how accurate they really are. And if they are, I'll probably pick up a couple of backups to that. Um, finally found this Arm & Hammer. These are the Island Breeze Fragrance Gel Aroma Beads. And I'm just going to pop this in my downstairs bathroom. I do wax in that bathroom as well, but, you know, bathrooms stink. So I'm going to set this probably next to the toilet to help, you know, cover up toilet smells. So I just love the way that looks. It's almost like trippy. I could just watch that all day. But yeah. <laughs> Another favorite find of mine are these neckties, and I've never seen these before. You can comment down below if you've seen these before or if this is a new item, I'm not sure. But my husband um, is a contracting officer in the Air Force, and he moved to a new section where they're going to be tra uh, traveling out of country a lot, and he needs to dress nicely. He can't just wear his uniform. So he did need some ties and some nice dress shirts. So I picked up these two. They had a couple other designs, but I felt I don't know, I didn't feel they were as professional as these two look, so I just really like these, and I felt, you can kind of feel through here, it's not the highest quality, I mean these aren't silk ties, but they're really not bad. Um, I did pull one out of the package, well it was already kind of messed up, but I pulled it out to see it's the actual length of a tie, the same size and shape, I mean it, no one's going to be any wiser to know that it just cost a dollar. So I was very excited about those and I will be keeping a lookout to see if I find any more designs I can pick up for his trips. And then the last item before I end this video and show you what's upstairs in my makeup room is, I had to just get this sign. It says, this is how we brew it. Um, and I don't really know where I'm gonna put this in my kitchen. I'm looking right now and there's really no room for it. But even if I decide later on I wanna switch out my photos and I wanna switch it to this or I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do, but. I couldn't leave it. It's just too cute. I love that. And the frame is really nice as well. They have been stepping up their um, wall art game for sure. So very cool. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video. And for you, it won't seem like much, but I'll show you what I have upstairs that I forgot to show you for my last haul. All right, bye. All right, guys, so this is the first kind of set of items I wanted to show you. They had these really gorgeous glass bottles at Dollar Tree. And so I picked up the blue ones to kind of match my room, but I just love these, and they feel pretty nice. This is the one I liked the least, but I needed three. The design kind of reminds me of fall. I don't know if you can see it because of the flash, but it's got like these uh, wine type of leaves on it. 
This one's my favorite, and I really like this one too. But anyhow, so I just have them on my dresser like that. I just think they're so beautiful. Okay. Okay, guys, so this is the other item I wanted to share with you. So it comes packaged like this, but this is what it looks like when you take it out of the packaging. So it comes with about two of these um, longer, I don't even know what to call them, <laughs> sticks, I guess. And then a couple of these like curly things. I don't even know what these are called technically, but they're the decor that you stick inside of those really um, tall floor vases just for just decor off in a corner or something. So I picked up two of those. It matches the colors in my um, bedroom here, which is kind of like gold, um, natural, uh, dark brown. So I haven't got a vase yet. I wish I could show you in a vase, but I haven't picked one up. But to find these for a dollar a piece, I mean, I only bought two. That's about all I need. Um, and so now I only need a vase. And Ross um, is a great place to buy vases for these. They're about 9 to maybe $15 for a really nice looking one. So that's where I'm going to pick mine up. Um, so yeah, under $20 to have one of those really nice decor vases. I thought that was great. They did have a couple of other colors. I know they had like a burgundy red um, and like a green type color. But I did pick this to go with my theme. But I have never seen these before at Dollar Tree. If anything, it looks to me almost like... It came from another store, and then they packaged them separately like this to sell. You know how they kind of do sometimes with snacks, and they'll package it inside of like clear plastic wrap like this? That's just the vibe that I got off of it. But um, again, like the other item, if this is something you've seen regularly in your store, or you know that they carry every now and again, comment down below and let me know because I'm curious. But I was super excited to find this. I actually was looking for something like this, so that was a nice score for me. So that's it for my haul, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.